Now, talk me through a little bit about how concerned you are, if indeed you are, what Europe can do now to Ireland. Because we were just hearing from a minister there 12 months ago, it was the contrary. Everyone was worried that the weakness of Ireland would make Europe crumble to its knees. And now it might be the contrary. Well, I think that minister is still in a state of denial. It is clear that the latest figures for the November exchequer figures, for example, on the tax revenue, show that the tax revenue is 1.6% below the target that the government has set out for it to achieve. Almost out of four top tax heads, three of them are down below and underperforming. The fourth one, which is probably one of the least significant ones, is outperforming on the back of burn-off measures. There is absolutely no structural reform in Irish uh, deficit. There are no structural reforms in the structure of the expenditure that Irish Exchequer is carrying out today. The Minister made today a set of announcements which really reinforce the failed approach of the past three years once again. The current expenditure is probably going to rise once again this mm -hmm. year. It's going to rise most likely next year again. The capital expenditure has been cut. The capital expenditure has been cut so far already that we are not replacing amortization and depreciation on a capital stock. So in uh, a sense, the Irish you, economy is being Let me ask dry. you, Constantin, about the genuine fear of the European breakup. If the euro were not to survive, what impact would that have on Ireland? Well, it will be. It, 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 it all depends. Everything depends on the way the euro doesn't survive. I mean, it is very simple to say. We all know that the euro in the current form is not sustainable. But the path that is uh, that will be taken out of the euro, the path that Ireland and other economies will take out of the euro, and the path of the reforms within the euro itself, if Ireland were to remain, is really a really crucial issue here. If everything goes in orderly fashion, Ireland can benefit both from staying within the euro and the strengthening of fiscal austerity, for example, and strengthening of fiscal uh, discipline in the long term. In in the short term, Ireland will need some sort of a breathing space and a reduction in terms of its debts because the problem from the Irish point of view, whether it stays within the euro or not, is the problem of the excessive debt overhang. You have to deal with that debt both in private sector and in public sector itself as well. Ireland is pretty much an insolvent economy. It doesn't, it's yeah. not changed by the budgetary dynamics so far. And it does seem, though, that the Irish are actually trying to continue their austerity drive almost to try and prove that they're a good member of the Eurozone. Do you think these austerity measures have gone too far? No, I don't think that they have gone too far. I just think that this is a wrong medicine for a wrong disease. The patient has been misdiagnosed. The Irish government, together with the Troika, believe that we are in a, some sort of the liquidity crunch on the government side, that our public debt is sustainable. They completely ignored the part of the dimension, which is a private non-financial debt, such as the household debt and the corporate debt. By all possible combined measures of real economic debt, Ireland is the most indebted economy in the world right now, in amongst the advanced economies. How can that be sustainable is difficult to uh, understand and how can austerity measures lead us out of this, uh, if you want, dilemma is also very difficult to understand. What we know is that today the austerity measures have not been working. In fact, there is no real austerity. If you want to, uh, the Irish austerity to date, the government austerity itself, has been effectively Robin Paul to pay uh, Peter. What we have been doing is transferring the expenditure out of the capital expenditure side onto yep. the current expenditure side to pay for rising social welfare bills.